It is highly recommended that you use an AM technician to install your DTF UV300 printer from am.co.za. The first thing to do is to unlock the print head from the sliding rail. Use an Allen key to remove the elbow bracket. Then loosen the cap station enough to be able to pull the print head along by hand. And now you remove the print head cover plate by removing all the screws on either side. This is a dual head system, so you have two base plates. Remove the four screws that hold them down on each base plate. Then remove the top protector cover. And remove the print head circuit board. And the machine is now ready for the print heads to be installed. In the box there are three ribbon cables. You are going to use two. With the writing facing you, you can identify the left and the right side of the cables. So wrap the left side with masking tape as you see here. Three wraps will do. Then apply three wraps of insulation tape over it, starting halfway down on the masking tape. Now on the right side of the ribbon cable, which is the carriage side, only apply the insulation tape three reps. Now do exactly the same with the second ribbon cable. This time use a different color insulation so that you can differentiate between the two cables. Now for the print heads. You have a color print head and a white print head. Start with the color print head and attach the left side, masking tape side, of the ribbon cable to the left side of the print head, the side with a protrusion on the plastic housing. Gently push the cable straight into the connector tracks. Now do the same with the other cable on the other side of the print head. Once that is done, put more masking tape over all the attachments, three layers per side. And you do exactly the same for the white print head as well. Now you are ready to install the print heads. Using the screws that you previously removed from the base plates, screw the print heads into the base plates. The color print head at the back and the white print head in front. The higher side of the print heads face to the back. With that done, you are ready for the dampers. But before that, the ink tanks must be filled at the back of the machine. Fill them about halfway, not too full. Also note that the V on the ink tank stands for varnish, and the ink bottle for varnish is glow. Fill all the colors, and when you are done, Use a syringe to pull the inks through the system and into the dampers. It usually takes two or three pulls before the ink comes through. Squirt the excess ink into an empty container. Then clean the damper off and plug it into the printhead damper holding unit and you are going to go through all the dampers in the same way. Note that some dampers have a dual feed connector. In this case, you need to pinch one of the damper's pipes before pulling the ink through. 
otherwise the ink will spill through both dampers. When you're done with the first damper, reverse the order and complete the set of dampers. The color order for the dampers is as follows. The color head at the back, black, cyan, magenta, white, yellow, white from left to right, whilst the order for the front head is irrelevant. You now need to attach the ribbon cables to the print head circuit board. With the writing of the circuit board facing you, attach the left color print head ribbon cable to the top multi-track connector marked left on the circuit board. A gentle push will ensure it in place. Now attach the right color print head ribbon cable to the top multi-track connector marked right and do the same for the white print head ribbon cables. The left goes to the bottom left and the right to the bottom right. And you can now attach the printhead circuit board back into place on the motherboard. Your dampers are now installed and ready for use. So neaten the cables up with insulation tape and replace all the covers. Now switch the machine on on the side. Twist and lift the stop button and the machine is on. The print head should automatically move back to the cap station at this stage. Check that the temperature controller is working. And then switch it off again. Can you hear that alarm? That is a system warning you that the ink is low. The red light on the tank system tells you which one is low. So top up with ink and the alarm goes off. Now for the roll take up feeders. Unloosen the hand nut, spring and grip nut on each side and feed the bar through the film roll. Tighten the grip nuts on each end and fit the roll into the holder bracket and tighten the spring and the hand nuts. In the box you will find a hand tightening bar. This goes through the hole on the left side of the machine and fits into the extender bracket. Tighten it with an allen key. Now fit the front roll take up bar onto the front holder bracket in the same way that you did for the back. Make sure the film feeds upwards and forwards and place it onto the rubber roller for now. At the back, pull the film off the white backing paper and feed the film through the third roller. Pull it over the roller and back again. Let the white backing paper reach the front and secure the film in the front to the backing paper. Note that the film in the front is going under the first roller and then on top of the rubber roller. Now pull the film back at the back of the machine and secure it onto the top take-up roller with some masking tape. Then give it a few rolls until it is tight both at the front and at the back, and you are done. 
the DTF UV300 from am.co.za is now ready for use. Thank you for watching and you can find more videos like this on the Achievement Matters video channel on YouTube. And remember, our technicians are always available to you. Twenty twenty three marks the tenth anniversary of AM.co.za in the South African market. And through that time, we have experienced considerable growth and expansion with the support of our valued customers. To mark our 10th anniversary, we have bought a warehouse at Sunny Rock in East Rand, and we will commence with renovation and construction in 2023. The facility will comprise a massive 2,000 square meter warehouse, 300 square meters of demonstration space, 150 square meters of sales space and 400 square meters of spare part storage on the top floor. 550 square meters of showroom space on the middle floor. 400 square meters for Machine Dot Africa for machine repairs with its own dedicated entrance. And a 250 square meter tea garden and coffee shop for your convenience. Our group now comprises four businesses. AM.co.za is our main business and supplies the machines, spare parts and consumables. Machine.Africa does the installations for our clients and handles on-site and factory repairs. Ambitious Academy ensures that our clients achieve the very best levels of productivity by providing training and certification. And our automated AI-driven online store, Buy This, brings all products online and distributes countrywide. We invite you to be part of this exciting journey as we establish our new headquarters. Watch as the process unfolds and be part of the adventure to meet all of your machinery and productivity needs with this magnificent new facility. AM.co.za. Achievement matters.